A lot of people think the rifle is the most important thing. Well, I, I disagree. I think the scope uh, is more going to make or break your long range shooting success than the rifle. When you think about the job that we're asking the scope to do, the typical 308 for with 100 yard zero to shoot out to 1000 yards, you're going to go through somewhere around 30 minutes. That's half of one degree, okay? All of your sight adjustments for every range from 100 to 1,000 yards occur within one half of one degree. It's the job of the scope to make those adjustments absolutely precisely. If there's any error at all in the scope's application of your fire solution, your group won't be centered on target and, and you'll simply miss. This is the Night Forced Beast scope. This is a great scope for long range shooting. It's got all the stuff that you would want in a good long range scope. It's, it's solid, it's durable. The optics are good, you get good clarity. Uh, 34 millimeter scope tube gives you a lot of internal adjustment. These turrets not only have zero stop, but you can also lock them in place. There's a break on the elevation and the windage zero, so you can't bump them and accidentally spin them. Some other features that you'll want in your long range scope is a lot of elevation adjustment. So first of all, you want a large diameter scope tube, you know, a 30 or 34 millimeter scope tube allows for more internal adjustment so that you can get upward of 60, 70, even 100 minutes of internal adjustment in the scope. Uh, this is important whenever you're shooting to very long range. You know, I need 40 minutes and you're clicking and, you, and it just stops. Okay, that's a limitation of your shooting that comes directly from your scope. Along those lines, uh, when you mount a scope for long range shooting, you wanna use a tapered scope base. Okay, a scope base that's got, you know, 20 or 30 minutes of elevation already built into it as a ramp, so that when you zero the scope, you're zeroing it at short range near the bottom of the scope's uh, range of adjustment. So if there's 100 minutes total elevation adjustment in the scope, you don't want to zero it at 50 because that only gives you 50 minutes to go up. If you have a 20 or 30 minute scope rail, now you're zeroing you know, 20 or 30 minutes from the bottom and you have that additional amount that you can go up. So that's about mounting the scope to give you the most amount of range that you can get out of it. Now, there's two methods of applying your fire solution for long range. You can either dial it in the turrets or hold it in a reticle. Holding reticles are more common for uh, tactical kind of shooting where you need to quickly engage targets, sometimes at various ranges. So rather than reaching up and mechanically applying a correction for each distance, you just simply shift your hold in the scoped grid and you can get shots off quicker. Another application where the holding reticle is, is favored is if you have a weapon mounted laser rangefinder. In that case, uh, you wanna leave your 100 yard zero on the scope because your laser alignment is now tied to your scope as well. And if you go dialing elevation and windage on your scope, that, uh, takes, that, that removes the alignment from the laser and you can't range targets anymore. So just another application where a, a gridded scope reticle uh, might be better than uh, dialing your turrets. So that's kind of the, uh, the top to bottom on long range scopes. Personally, I would rather have a one minute rifle and an excellent scope that's mounted solid because then I'll be able to center my one minute group on the target reliably all the time. So that's why I consider the scope to be one of the most important elements of your long range shooting equipment. Remember, these short videos are just intended for basic exposure to general concepts. Um, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to the science of long range shooting and to learn more about that science, you can read the Applied Ballistics books which are written in layman's terms for the long range shooter.